Chiza and by my side Sadat Mohammed and welcome to another edition of Duke Sports Weekly Roundup. Serge Ibaka dunked a new deal with the Toronto Raptors who resigned him on a three-year $65 million contract keeping him at the helm of North defense. The deal came up at a time when there has been speculations about his age and background. However, ESPN Zach Lowry, while appearing on Bleacher Reports, the full 48 podcast lifted the lid on Ibaka's free agency status, implying the truth about his age would affect the free agency market for him and his earning power as an athlete. Ibaka then took to Twitter to refute all claims clouding his bio data, asking for the media to take responsibility for the claims it makes, adding that he was not born in a jungle. Meanwhile, Gambian young star Yusuf Njihi made a surprising turn joining Portugal, shining offers from Spain, Turkey and other top league names. Njie, who has been on the radar of several clubs while with Morocco club Faith Union Sport, jumped on the opportunity to sign with Boavista immediately after the Porto-based club tabled a season-long loan offer. The mention of Ugolo Kante comes in with significant respect for his ability to hold down midfield and stun in two consecutive seasons. But it wasn't all a walk in the park for the Chelsea midfielder who revealed Tottenham Hotspur as the toughest midfield he has played against since his debut last season with the Blues. All thanks to the physical and dynamic midfield duo led by Victor Wanyama who alongside Moussa Dembele ranked strongly in his books. Wanyama's arrival from Southampton has since then firmly cemented Tottenham's midfield and seen him rise up the ranks as one of the most solid and effective midfield holders of the Premier League. Liverpool boss Jurgen Klopp was advised to do whatever it takes to sign RB Leipzig midfielder Naby Keita, who is priced at £70 million. Speaking in an interview, former Liverpool legend Diyate Mahaman believes the Guinea international to be worth every penny and would be crucial for the Masi side by adding depth to Liverpool's midfield as they prepare for the Champions League playoff round and a top finish in the Premier League. However, it remains to be seen whether Liverpool will break the bank for a player who broke out just last season in a deal that would make him the club's record signing. In tennis, South Africa's Kevin Anderson got off to a good start at the Wimbledon after he overcame a tough set loss to beat Fernando Verdasco 2-6, 7-6, 7-6, 6-3 in the opening round clash of the London-based tournament. The number 42, who made top 10 in 2015, had a promising Grand Slam career but has struggled with injuries ever since. South Africa was devastated by the passing of one of its future promising stars. Ntuthuko Radebe, who died in a car crash in the early hours of Tuesday in his hometown Newcastle, KwaZulu, Natal in South Africa. The 22-year-old who was given a scholarship to the Qatar Best Aspire Academy as a teenager made a move to Belgian side KAS Yupen through a link up between the club and academy in 2012, but was considering a move back home to play in the ABSA Premiership after his contract with Yupen was set to expire this summer. South Africa Football Association President Danny Jordan was among those who mourned the passing of the former under-17 and under-20 international. And that's it for this week. For more news and updates, visit ducasports.com.